How'd your morning go? <laughs> About as well as this interview is going. It was a little rough. When we got there, it was freezing cold. We could barely keep our hands from shaking. And then uh, we got a couple targets in and then a haze came through. Gave one back, got one back. You know, and I was kind of watching the whole leaderboard shift back and forth along the way. I started out with 12, so I thought it was going to be a great day. And then it, and then I fived the next target low. And I, I just kind of, I feel like, let that affect a little bit of how I judge the rest of the day. And I tell you, it's so much fun to be in those battles and going back and forth and hitting 12s and, you know, banging each other's arrows. And, you know, so that was one of the days that it was here today. But I had fun. I watched uh, Cara and Sharon shoot really well. I am in the lead, so Car and I only have one point lead, so I'm gonna try and watch and see what she does in the long ones as well. I plan on being aggressive, so, but that's at the moment. I haven't seen the targets. Um, <laughs> I'm very familiar with this position, so it's just time to go again and play my game, and um, you know, I'm ready, so bring it on. Welcome back to the 2019 Black Eagle New Breed Pro-Am at the McKenzie ASA Pro-Am Tour. Our second stop for this year. Let's go ahead and get to our announcer, Chuck Cooley. Pressure point shoot down here in Alabama. Up first, we have the women's pro division with a third place finish in London in 2018. Also made the shoot down in Foley in 2018, shooting Easton, Trueball, Axel, Vortex, and Shrewd. Her third year as a pro, shooting for Matthews. From Marsden, Saskatchewan, Aaron McGlattery, a 390 with nine bonus rings, and that was with a miss. How about a big round of applause? She said to say it. Your Women's Pro 2013 Rookie of the Year, 2016 ASA Classic third place winner, shooting for Hamsky, Atomic Rods, Easton, Boning, and Vortex, shooting pro for five years, shooting a Matthews from Utica, Ohio, Laura Chanel with a 392 and four bonus rings. Your third place shooter of the year in 2018 with multiple podium finishes, shooting Black Eagle, Scott Archery, CBE, Conquest, and AAE. Eight years as a pro, shooting for Matthews from Southwest Wisconsin, Emily McCarthy with a 401 and 12 bonus rings. She's been a classic champion and three-time shooter of the year, shooting dead center stabilizers, True Ball XL, Carbon Express, Last Chance Archery, 15 years as a pro, shooting for Matthews from Lapeer, Michigan, Cara Kelly with a 410 and 10 bonus rings. And your number one qualifier this weekend in the women's pro division, a five-time champion of Paris, Texas, your 2014 Shooter of the Year and Classic Champ in 2017, a two-time Foley champion and the Augusta 2018 champion, shooting Black Eagle, Dead Center, Stan, Hamsky, and Excel, 12 years as a pro, shooting for Matthews from Townville, South Carolina, Sharon Wallace with a 411 and 10 bonus rings. All right, Craig White here with Nathan Brooks as we get ready for the first arrow of this women's pro shoot down. And your leader heading in by a single point, Sharon Wallace. And we have two shooters that made the shoot down at our first round in Foley, Alabama. Cara Kelly finished second, Emily McCarthy third. Kaylee Johnston, who was surprise winner for her anyway at the time, Nathan. She just missed getting to this one. Yeah, these ladies, uh, these ladies are on point because they, this is some good shooting for them. I, I don't mean that any disrespect whatsoever at all, but mm -hmm. that, was, that was some good shooting out there on a really hard course. 
All right, so the first arrow flies upper left-hand part of your screen. You're going to have the ranking they came in. You're going to see their total, and the arrow that they shot, the value for this one will pop up. We'll talk more about that. There's the Howling Wolf. That's target number three. That's one of the closer ones on this range here at the moment. Ooh, that's a good shot on the turkey. Now I'm going to have Nathan explain these rings in a moment when we're scoring because the best thing about ASA 3D archery, in my view, is the ability that you can take risks or be conservative. So we have the first shots in. And scoring arrows come in. So that looked like that was target number two. It's Cara Kelly on the Havelina. Mm -hmm. So as we get some tighter shots of these scoring rings, Awesome nice call upper on that. On the Howling Wolf. It's probably the best call on that because you have a little bit of definition up there to aim off of. So that would probably be the reason why she would aim at that one. That and it also gives her a little bit of a, a leeway to actually miss the distance and still stay at 10 underneath. So look in the middle part of your screen there. You saw those scoring rings. Let's talk a little bit about how you know, how 3D gets scored. As Aaron McGlattery, who was, nice. yeah, who was our fifth place. You can see McGlattery with a 12, that's gonna move her to 402, to within two of Lara Chenault at a 404. McCarthy at a 13, 18 for Kelly and 21 for Wallace. So let's talk about what they're aiming at. Yeah, so at this point, you know, you're looking at the ladies' scores. you got to think that Aaron and, and Laura is probably thinking about, all right, we just try and do our best to get to third place because the leader and second place are so far ahead that it's, I won't say it's mathematically impossible, but they got to shoot fantastic to catch them. So, um, you know, they're going to probably be gunning pretty hard at 12s. They've got the opportunity to shoot at the 14s, uh, but – first couple targets sometimes it's nice to just see what everybody does get your feet kind of firmly underneath you and make sure your distance judging is right Ooh. that is a low arrow that's is that emily that was wallace sharon i think it's target yeah. right she's going to be moving to the javelina on number two so you have five shooters five targets they rotate so you're going to move to the right and the shooter on target number five is going to rotate about back around to target number one And, you know, it seems like when you're out there, Greg, that it just takes no time at all. But when we're sitting here watching, it seems like it takes a little while. <laughs> it is so fast it when you're fast. in it mm -hmm. because you've got to make these adjustments on the fly. If you're judging yardage like this and you did good on the first one, you feel confident on the second one. But a lot of times when you miss that first one, uh, your confidence goes and you think, well, maybe I missed them all. And for Italy. So it looks like a 10 for Cara Kelly. That's going to move Cara within a single point of Wallace. She is an animal out here. Mm -hmm. She's won so many of these. This is this is nothing new for her to come back and win. Emily McCarthy scores. Now we move on to target number five. So an eight for McCarthy on that one's going to drift her back a couple of points. Yeah, still firmly in third. A 10. So just as McGlattery looked like she was making a move on that first target, she's going to slip a couple. But that's what you have to do when you're in fifth place, right? You've got to start taking Look, chances. She, she can't get any worse than fifth. Mm -hmm. She could miss every target out of here, and she's still got fifth place sewn up. So she has really nothing to lose. Uh, other than some arrows. <laughs> now keep in mind, too, that when you look at the scoring rings that we use, you have the middle big. The big ring is the 10 ring, and then you have the bottom 12 in play. You've got to call the upper 12 ring. Then you have 8 and 5 if you miss, but also you have the 14 ring in play. Yeah, that 14 on some of these targets is an obvious, uh, an obvious choice to shoot at because sometimes they're marked good, mm -hmm. and then sometimes they're just out in no man's land and you can't see anything to go off of. Target number one is the taper. Target number two is the javelina. Three is the howling wolf. Four is the blessed buck. And then the turkey's five. Like.
just off the 12 on that taper. All right, so the first one scored. Target two is going to be McLattery. This Havelina is the, probably the fourth longest distance out here of those targets. That's a heck of a shot on that target. Mm -hmm. That is just a small animal to be looking at. Scoring rings are the same size, but that animal is small. Well, if you take a good look at that target, it's got so many little white dots on it, mm -hmm. you can get lost in them so easy. So it's tough to hit, even if it's close. So Wallace with a 10. It's going to take her to 439. That is an awesome shot on the blitz box. <laughs> you talked yeah. about it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Car Absolute car animal. is steady. As a matter of fact, she may be better in shoot-offs than she is on the range just because she excels in this pressure. So Cara Kelly takes over the lead. So 440 for Kelly. Now Wallace slipping to 439. 431 for McCarthy. Chenault with a 424 and McGlattery. So just to change the top. For Cara Kelly, do you get conservative at this point? Well, the next shot is a turkey for her. And, you know, they changed that target from years ago. It used to be a real small tin ring. And so the 12 was tiny. But now it's the same size as almost every other target. So um, it's really not much difference for her. Uh, she's still going to have to get one close towards the 12. She's not probably going to get crazy because she knows she's got this one and a final arrow. Your leader decides to hold off on that shot. The letdown. Back at it. Wants to make it feel just right. She's got enough time. You got a minute to shoot this shot. So Six months ago, her son was born. Car telling me she takes him everywhere. Her archery has not changed. She just loads up her son and heads to the range. She's going to have to get this one to go. Ooh. Okay, so that looks like a solid eight. Or, yeah, it looks like an eight ring. So it is. That's that's where things get a little bit weird for people that haven't seen ASA before. Is you actually have a core ring that really doesn't play. You're looking at that inner ten, and then you have the outer ring is going to score the eights if you're outside of that. And also just to keep in mind that these athletes are judging this distance. If you're curious as to how far they're shooting, so are we because it's unknown right. distance. So they actually had 10 minutes to judge, take a look at those targets, make notes, and now they show up and get a second time real quick, but they've got to set those sights and be confident in their ability to discern how far that target is down. Ooh. That five right there, that's a stinger. Gunning at a 14, but I agree with the shot mm -hmm. and the, the risk because in her position, she had nothing to lose. Yeah. You got to try. Yeah, fifth spot, you just go for it. Worst you can finish is fifth. <laughs> right. So you know you have that all wrapped up when you show up. All right. You know, with Kara, with Kara's arrow there, we know it's an eight. And, and I know quickly or how quickly her shot typically goes. And you notice she drew the bow back and mm -hmm. she let that or let it down and then got into her shot again. More than likely, she overheld that just a little bit. She judges so good. Mm -hmm. More than likely, that was not a yardage miscue. That was a shot miscue. Makes sense. Lead change once again. So what happens when we have scores that are this close now? Do we go to a six there or how does it all work? Anyone within 10 points of your leader gets to shoot an extra arrow. So at this point, we've got three that are going to be able to shoot the last arrow, a sixth arrow. So here we go. This is for the title. Here at the 2019 Black Eagle New Breed Pro-Am in the women's pro class. Wallace, Kelly, McCarthy going at it. Ten on the turkey. Or Kelly on the on the taper. On target one. Long hold again. One minute to execute the shot. Ooh. That's it. Outside looking in, but I bet you that's it. 
You think so? That could be the shot. It could be. So McGladdery lets it fly there. That's an eight. So at a 427. So the first target score, she did get the 12. So Cara Kelly. That may have uh, that may have been the one she needed right there to seal it for her. She'll have one more arrow after this. So that would have been Emily McCarthy. She is in with an eight. So 449, that means Emily's not going to get in. So an eight for McGlattery. So this will be our final arrow scored. Sharon Wallace, a 10. So that's going to move her back to second place, one point behind Cara Kelly. So 460 is the mark. So looks like Emily is going to be in third spot. She won't yep. get to shoot another arrow, right? Nope. She's not within 10 points. Anyone so within 10 points, so she just misses that. So fifth is set. Fourth is set and third. So you have McGlattery, Chanel, and McCarthy. McCarthy will be our final podium person on the podium. So now we're going to go for the title here between Wallace and Kelly as one point separates those two. And this is always really interesting because what winds up happening here is you get the second place shooter gets to shoot first. So they. The pressure's on them mm -hmm. at that point. <laughs> you know, do I shoot it at 14? Because the rings are the same size. A 12 ring and a 14 are the exact same size. So if she shoots a 10, you know, shooting at a 12 and she stays in a 10, then all Cara is going to have to do is shoot an 8 to win. Mm. Well, she can probably do that, maybe not blindfolded, but, you know, she can throw an arrow down there and hit the 8 ring. So she's going to have to shoot it at a 12, and she's probably going to have to hit it. So... The question is, do I shoot it at 14 and make her go all <laughs> out? Right, right. <laughs> They're going to shoot one at a time. They're going to break out the sixth target, which is the the large deer. What else do you call that target? The XL? Um, I believe that target is called the large HD. Yeah, the large HD, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard to say without the head on it. <laughs> yeah. So again, this is just put in a random spot. Wallace and Kelly are going to get a moment or two to judge the distance of that target. Set the sights and let it fly. Yeah, this is definitely one where where Sharon is going to be thinking, all right, do I, I mean, again, she's got second sewn up. Yes. Myself, mm -hmm. if I was in this position. That's what we want to know. That's I shoot here. to 14. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Wait, if you're in second place. Yeah. You have to go for the fourth. Yeah, right. Because there's there's no, I mean, if she misses, she still gets second place. Mm -hmm. So put all the pressure on the first place shooter. Totally get it. A 12 mm -hmm. is a very comfortable shot for all of us to make because we're used to aiming where that 12 ring is at. But a 14 is a little bit unnerving because we're not used to aiming way back up in the high part of the, uh, part of the animal there where it's just, not something we practice every day so even though these ladies are professionals and they've done it thousands of times and they've prepared for this moment it's still an interesting uh, feeling when you're in that moment having to aim up there and knowing that it's you either hit it to win or you get second <laughs> place which to be honest i mean we're all pretty happy with second but yeah, wins a wins a that win. win mm -hmm. means a lot. And I know Cara, I, both these women want to win. Right part of your screen is Cara Kelly, your 2008 Shooter of the Year. Both women last year, Sharon Wallace on the left, Cara Kelly on the right. Uh, two wins for 2018 of the seven rounds that we had apiece. Been in this situation before. You can see upper left-hand part of your screen. Wallace came in here with a one-point advantage over Cara Kelly. Now that's reversed as we head into this final arrow of the women's pro class and who shoots first 
Sharon because she is behind, so she gets the pleasure of putting the pressure. Putting the pressure. <laughs> and, you know, again, this is one of those things. It boils down. I know I would shoot it to 14, but it, it's, it would only be because I'd want to put the pressure on the first-place shooter. Mm -hmm. But she may be so much more comfortable aiming at a 12 that she might just aim at the 12 just for that reason because she feels more comfortable with that hold. Interesting placement of the target, actually, by – the range officials, it looks from our vantage point that they put it where the rings are actually dipped in a shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a, a dark shadow across that. If these girls are shooting a lot of power, they might not be able to pick, uh, they might be able to pick up the rings, but if they're shooting low power, no no lens. Ooh, did, did she call, call upper? upper? That's a good question. That is the question. <laughs> we didn't see her call upper, but we're waiting to find out here. It's a 10, so she didn't call up her. So now for Cara Kelly, her strategy completely changes. All she needs to do is ten to ring to win. 10 ring to win. And I'm telling you what, that is a great feeling for Cara right now. Look because at the smile. She, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> she is laughing right now on the inside and outside, thinking that I've got this. There's no doubt of, uh, well, there's no doubt in her mind mm -hmm. that she can make this because she's done it so many times. Cara Kelly to seal the deal. And Smoke she's it. done it, putting it exactly where she needs to. Absolutely. Awesome shot. And there was no doubt in my mind that she had that shot. It was, it was, that was one of those shots I've seen her make so many times that you just knew she was getting ready to win that. So, so Cara Kelly, We'll walk away your 2019 Black Eagle New Breed Pro-Am champion for the women's pro class. A big hug from her comp competitor. And you know what, Nathan, I spend quite a bit of time while you pros shoot on the ranges, and these group of women really tight, have a lot of fun. Even when they're leading the way, they have a lot of fun. They help each other out, um, you know, as a lot of competitors do in archery. And, yeah, everybody would have liked to win, but also a lot of people in this crowd are happy to see Cara Kelly take that victory. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, so as we see Cara. How are you feeling right now? Oh, my gosh, amazing. I feel like the monkey's been lifted off my back. Um, huge shout out to my husband. He said, if you get second, don't come home. And I said, well, who's <laughs> going to take care of the baby? And he said, I'll come home. <laughs> Now, Cara, you were in the exact same position in yes. Foley. Oh, my gosh. Like, how does that happen twice in two tournaments? I don't even know. But t Sharon shot amazing. We went back and forth all day. I don't know. I just had a fire light me up through here and hit some 12s when I needed to. And um, I'm bringing it home. So I'm super excited. Were you thinking about Foley on that oh, last yeah. shot? Oh, yeah. It registered, and I went, okay, turn it off. You've made the shot a thousand times. You can do it. Bring it home. So this one's for you, baby. <laughs> All right, Car Kelly, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. A win for her. Last time she won was round five of last season in London, Kentucky. And now, 2019 Black Eagle New Breed Pro-Am champion.